Welcome back to Short Scale Modeling. This is part two of the diorama for Ambush, the second diorama in the series of 178 dioramas. In part one, I laid down the base for the diorama, put on some ground foliage and the trees. In this part, I'll be finishing off the diorama, plus all the other components on. As you can see from the second illustration I've just put up, this is going to be the overall diorama split into four. But for now, I'm just working on the top part, uh, top left hand part. So let's get into this build. So carrying on where I finished off, I'll now use uh, the important grasses and uh, different shades of uh, foliage for the um, rise part of the diorama. Um, working on the same principle as before, putting down some PVA glue before um, sprinkling on the uh, the coverage. Th this one is a um, burnt grass that I'm putting on. Um, I will also be putting on a little bit of dark earth as well. It's the same again for the other side. As you can see on the main part of the diorama there, how it's uh, starting to look. The coverage is not fully all over the uh, painted clay. Um, as you can see, uh, the, some of the brown colours are starting to come out, uh, as well as some of the green. This is why um, you should paint it all beforehand, because you really don't know which parts are going to be shown uh, and what's not going to be shown. This is like a fluid motion that you're creating here. You, it's all going to be random, so there's no telling um, how it's going to work. So as you can see here, I'm just placing on the two tanks. Uh, that's the Panzer tank and the 75mm um, tank. The Panzer one is going on first, so I'm just uh, applying some uh, super glue here. You, you can add PVA if you wish, um, I'm just adding super glue so it dries quicker. Just be aware though, if you are using super glue, it's only going to adhere to the foliage um, on it. It's not going to be um, a 100% secure bond, where a PVA will be, but it will just take a lot longer to dry. So once that's in, I'm, I'm getting some of the clusters and putting some PVA glue in, and I'm starting to build around the tank. Don't worry about the turret falling off, um, it was on very loosely anyway because I wasn't sure that the position the tank was going to be on. But the key here is to camouflage the tank. So I'm just building up the different layers um, until I'm, I'm happy that it, the tank will be difficult to see from a forward position. So I'll be carrying on with this cluster um, all, all the way down the, the ridge line. You can see that I'm just putting on the, the turret again. It will probably fall off again in, until uh, I'm completely finished the build. So just add in some more PVA glue and uh, add in on the clusters. Again, it's all in a random pattern. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, you need that to make it look natural. So now that's all the bottom uh, coverage on, as you can see, I'll just jump forward a little bit. The aim now is to build up on the bottom layers, add more body. So I'm adding some uh, green lichen here. Uh, over the barrel of the gun uh, and this will help camouflage it even more. It, it, it's better to use different uh, materials doing this as well uh, to build up different textures. It sounds um, obvious um, but I, I've seen uh, some people do dioramas where it's all just uh, one texture and it looks kind of flat even though it's multi-layered. So, uh, Use different textures, use anything at hand, as, as long as it um, looks good to you, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, but it does help uh, with the overall presence of the build. So I'll just carry on doing this uh, around the tank and until I, I've got the uh, tank sufficiently camouflaged. I'll be placing bits and pieces on the tank as well to break up the shape of the tank. And that's the whole point of cam camouflage, breaking up the the shape. Um, not necessarily a blending, but just to make sure it's broken up so when you look at it, it doesn't look like a big square metal box. And that's the whole idea of camouflage, if you're ever actually trying to do something like this. 
So now the tanks are on the foliage is all off, so left now it's going to put on the troops. Um, there's two ways you can tackle this. You, you can either leave them on the base plates or you can cut them off and then um, just have them uh, freestanding. If you do this, they're more difficult uh, to set in place. Um, they will tend to fall over if you don't stand them up just right. So keep that in mind. But also, if you keep the base on, you're going to have to put your ground, ground coverage over the base as, as well. Uh, so it blends in with your diorama. So there's pro two pros and cons uh, how to do this. I'm personally cutting off the bases uh, with my snips as you can see here. Uh, I'm just cutting off around the feet. Now I will leave a, a little bit of a step on the bottom of the uh, figure. But that should embed itself into the, the grasses on the diorama. So once I've got the feet and everything cut off, I'm just uh, dry placing it to make sure it all fits in. And once it is, I'll add a little bit of super glue to the feet and then place it inside the diorama. And I'll just do the same process all the way through with each figure for the German um, infantry and as, as well as the Allied as well. And just find the best position that you feel comfortable with putting them on and, um, and see how it goes. This is why dry fitting is important as well, so that you know exactly where you're going to be putting them. So as you can see there, I'm just uh, picking it up to show you how things are. So now the um, allied troops are going in and having them coming in from the trees. Well, this is going to bring the build to an end. It's quite a lot involved in this uh, diorama. The, the other ones won't be so involved, but um, this is where the main camouflage and foliage is on the, the whole four part series of dioramas. It, it, was, it was fun to build. Um, as I said, if you've never done anything like this before, give it a go. Um, you never know how it's going to turn out. Um, and if you follow simple rules, you, you should be okay. If you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the 170 series build uh, for the dioramas and uh, for indeed the actual um, model builds themselves. Or of course, uh, have a look at this channel as well. There's uh, many things on there now for you to have a look at. I'm sure there's something there you may enjoy. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified of any future updates. Hit that like button and of course, leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.